Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do the weekly reading for the lovely sign of Taurus. Taurus, firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It certainly is a pleasure having you on board. Um, thank you for all the beautiful things you do to me, for me, to me. <laughs> Such as, you know, all your beautiful comments, personal readings, whatever I've connected with you in the past. Thank you so much. Um, please remember though that these readings are only general readings. They may not resonate with you. You may have to check out other aspects of your natal chart. But if the reading does resonate with you or is your story, then please make sure you give it a thumbs up. We're going to use the Tarot Mucha for your reading today. Now we have the Three of Wands coming through here. The Three of Wands is a card that talks about looking to the future. You're waiting for your ships to come in here. So it's like you've already let the universe know what you want and you're waiting for the universe to bring that to you. It's, it's sort of seen as waiting for a manifestation to, to sort of come to fruition, I guess. It could be that you're waiting for someone to return. You're waiting for someone to return from a holiday even. But there is definitely this feeling here you're waiting for something to happen, waiting for a manifestation, waiting for abundance, but you're waiting. All right, so we have here the Hermit card. You could have separated from someone here. There's a feeling that you may have taken time out or someone else has taken time out and maybe you're waiting on them. Um, somebody's definitely moved away from something now and is waiting here for something to come around. Definitely the energy of waiting. All right, so broken heart here with the three of swords and then followed up with the death card. All right, well, that's making a lot of sense to me now. I feel really strongly here that then the temperance card is behind that. Oh, with the ace of cups. All right, I'll tell you what it feels like to me. It feels like in the past somebody left, left you with some sort of upset pain disappointment and I feel like this person either went on their way they may have gone traveling they may have decided they didn't want a relationship I don't feel it wasn't that they didn't love you I think that the relationship had come at the wrong time for them for some reason I feel like whatever this person has done they have moved down their own pathway and allowed you to sort of just get over this situation and I feel like it's been quite difficult for you to move past but this person looks like they were doing some sort of soul searching or some sort of trying to find themselves here and I feel like you even though you were heartbroken I feel like you accepted this but somehow or another I feel like you expected them to come back and I feel like you're still waiting and I feel like they're about to return I do feel that this person probably loved you quite immensely, but had their own things to get through to get themselves to this point. So let's have a look what's going on. A lot of major arcanas coming out in these readings today. The moon card is here and the moon card can talk about hidden emotion. It can talk about things being buried very deep below the surface. It often talks about darkness, you know, the shadow side, everything that's concealed within the, those waters. And very often it's us suppressing or oppressing our um, emotional state. So there may have been a lot of um, disappointment in this situation. A lot of heartbreak. All right, then we have the world card. Look at this. I feel like somebody's gone off in search of themselves here. I feel like somebody couldn't deal with the emotions, couldn't deal with the emotions of this situation. And someone's gone off soul searching with this world card. Two more major arcanas. I don't know what's going on today. I've used three different decks. Look at this strength card coming through. All right. I feel someone here left somebody behind because they had to work on their emotional self. Whoever this person was, it didn't mean that they didn't love you. It didn't mean they didn't love you, but they went off soul searching. 
Whoever this person was wasn't ready for a relationship, had a lot of deep hidden fears and insecurities here that they had to work through. I do believe this person has either travelled or has been at a distance to you the whole time. But I feel like they're coming back in because they have fronted their shadow self here. Wow, and then we have the Empress. Holy dooly. This has been happening in all the readings today. All of the readings, heavy, heavy, uh, major arcana energy. Even though I've used three different decks, all decks have been the same. This person is stepping into their power here with the Empress. Whether they're male or female, they have stepped into their feminine energy. This is a person who has developed their feminine side. Their love and their intuition now is on point. This is a person who struggled with this in the past. Struggled with expressing emotion. But now look at them go. So they're able to understand this because they've worked on something here and closed out this energy of not being able to. Well, it's fears, letting go of fears, letting go of emotions that didn't serve them, maybe even letting go of people. All right, then we have the emperor coming out. Emperor, empress here. You've got a definite twin flame thing going on here. Nine of wands, two of swords. There's a decision you've got to make here. And I feel like the decision very much is about do you move forward with this person now they've returned. I do think looking at this, the love is just as strong as it ever was. So it's not about the love here, but I feel that you may have moved on somewhat, especially with this nine of wands here, a little bit sort of overprotective of your own energy now. Let's keep going. Two of cups coming through with the devil card wow and the four of swords there's definitely some sort of indication that this will go on hold here that somebody will need to to digest this with this devil card here for some of them reason i get this sort of energy with the devil card where somebody is looking at the other person feeling that they were extremely self-centered and they feel let down but there is some sort of energy here of not wanting to get hurt again, which is understandable. You two have a very strong soul connection here, though, without any doubt. There's very strong twin flame energy here. But I feel like your person had to go off and soul search. I feel that they were dealing with some very dark emotional stuff from their past, maybe even childhood energies here. Let's just have a look and get some more clarification. I feel you've been waiting for this person to return. And I do think there has been some soul searching on your behalf as well. There seems to have been some heartbreak in the past that caused some sort of transformation. But now I see this balance coming through. There's true love here, definitely. The readings today are all about unions coming back in together. This person here did not leave you because they didn't love you. They left you because they were unable to process the love they were feeling at the time. And I feel they've gone off to process their own inner worries, their own inner fears, because they were unable to process them while they were in this situation with you. There's a very strong feeling that this person never forgot you. They didn't really leave you behind. But I think they had to go out in search of what they needed to heal. Because there's been healing here on both sides with the devil energy, with the death energy. The devil energy makes me feel here that, you know, this person is feeling very drawn back towards you. I think there's quite an obsession here with making their way back. But I feel here that you've got this also this fear with this nine of wands that this person may not stay again i don't think you're realizing the the love they have for you here but they had to go to be able to heal and there's been a strong sense of working with their shadow side here and healing that part of them that was holding them back all right so we have the queen of swords here so you could be dealing with a libra gemini or aquarius there's a truth to be spoken here there seems to be a little bit of conflict though because I feel somebody's not really, wow, look at this, another major arcana. Somebody's not really trusting this energy. This person wants to build with you now. 
there may be a pro proposal here could be dealing with a fire sign leo sag or aries strong pisces energy capricorn leo a lot of others there Li libra taurus there's a lot of energies here i feel like i'm talking to a whole stack of people here so if you're cross watching i've definitely picked up on your energy as well whoever this person is has really worked hard to bring themselves to this energy this person is coming up as a divine masculine they've really searched inwards to be able to let go of their fears their suppressed emotion um, I feel like this person has probably done a lot of work on their childhood energy to release stuff. But this person is now in full manifestation mode. They're ready to start again here, but they want to build with you this time. I just feel that there's a little bit of energy here of you being reluctant to move forward here. And it may be that you'll be wanting to step back because there is this decision to make as to whether you give this person another chance. But I feel that once you've seen them, you may not even barely recognize this person. I feel that they've been through a lot here. There's a lot of this energy of working through a lot of pain, a lot of suppression, a lot of emotional turmoil. So you're dealing with someone that kept all of their emotions buried deep within them. But I feel like because they've gone on this healing journey here, they've been able to close out a lot of this emotion here. This person is coming back here with a big change to themselves and definitely is stepping into this Empress energy, wants to rebirth something, wants to bring something forth. They definitely have great love for you. And I feel like they did before, but they just weren't able to express it or work with it maybe they've never been in love before because there's a lot of suppressed emotion here a lot of suppressed emotion all right let's have a look where we're going with this we'll get a little bit of advice from the universe here regeneration This says there is rebirth, amazing, second chances and new opportunities. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. The relationship message says, the world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are only illusions. There is life after death, love after loss, and in this moment you are radiating the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms. Now is the time when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. So there's a very strong feeling here. Whoever this person is coming back in again is now able to show you, is now able to share with you the love they feel. I'll leave you with that, Taurus. Thank you.